this is Atlas. He's a golden doodle. He's such a good boy. So good. I got this new nozzle that is freaking awesome. Like you can turn it right then I just had it on water only but like in this dispenser here there's shampoo and watch this oh I love that so much so I can just squirt it all on him really good and then rub it in and uh, let it sit for a minute and it works so good Oh, Atlas is a really great dog. He, he's so just good in every way. I've noticed I've gotten to know a lot of big black dogs and I'm sure there's exceptions, but all the big black dogs that I know are freaking awesome. So. Harley and Ryan have, they both their dogs were black. Well, Axel passed away. He was a big black lab. And then um, Bismarck is one of our Cocker Spaniel puppies. And he's black. And they told me that they'll always get black dogs because um, there's a, <clears throat> like, they think there's, discrimination against black dogs like people just don't get them as much and there's more of them in the pound than that I don't know if things have changed or if that was just their perception or or what but I would say like all the black dogs I know are amazing <laughs> um, last night I watched the Westminster dog show and they had the Cocker Spaniels are my favorite, you know, and um, the the black one was the one that made it a little farther than the other ones. I called it because she was beautiful or he, I don't even know, but I think um, black Cocker Spaniels just have the most beautiful coat because it's always so shiny and silky and I think next time which won't be for a long time that I get another dog I might get a a black one a black yeah possibly a black cocker spaniel or a black poodle oh my gosh they had a black poodle on there that was also so beautiful and uh what other color? Or, I mean, what other dog did I really like? Well, I liked all of them. <laughs> That's the problem. I like all of them. I need a ranch. But there was also a... I like one of those little Chinese crested. I think to put in my purse. <laughs> yeah, they're all awesome. What is your favorite breed of dog? I wanted to show you Atlas's ears. They're like so matted. I think we're gonna have to shave them probably. I don't know. You see, that's like one whole big mat. Can you see it? It's hard to see. Like the whole thing is just matted. And the other one's the same, so. I don't know. I, I'm gonna take my thinning shears and cut through the mats and see if I can get them combed out, but I think we're probably going to have to shave them. Now I had to shave his ears right down because they were matted so bad, like I couldn't tell what was his ear and what wasn't his ear. So, But he still looks really cute. Look at that face. 
You're very handsome. Hey, you're very handsome, huh? Yeah. I think that made his ears really itchy. He keeps shaking his head now. But I put some um, coconut oil on, so hopefully they're just a little itchy. That'll help. He's very cute. He's a very cute boy. This is a new customer. His name is Bon Bon. He's cute. <laughs> he is very, very cute. Bon Bon, Bon Bon. Hey, 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 hey. Can you sit? I can't even see your face because you don't, oh my heck. Adorable, you're adorable. Oh, you're so cute. I haven't seen a golden doodle like him. He's like got the white fur and then Bon Bon, Bon Bon, come here. Come over here, buddy. Come here so we can see ya. Hey, 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 hey. This should be a good before and after because he's really um, grown out. <laughs> hey, Bon Bon. He's gonna think about eating my fish, eh? Anyway, he's white. Hang on. And then he's got, hey, Bon Bon. Look. He's got brown eyes and he's got the the liver colored nose, the light brown nose, and then his skin is pink around his eyes. His eyes are actually sort of hazel. <laughs> Hello, that's a big close up, huh? You are gonna look so handsome when we get done with you, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, here we go. He's all done, and he is the freaking cutest darn dog. <laughs> Look at that face. You just so adorable. Look at that nose. He's so cute. Now I'm a little stressed because he got this irritation right here. And I don't think it's from my clippers, but it might have been from the... Because I had to put this around him to keep him from sitting down. And it was loose, but he kept trying to sit down with it. And... I think that's probably what did that so because he's a new customer it really stresses me out because they don't know me and I don't know them but I'm just gonna tell them show it to them and let them know and I hope everything's okay and I hope you get to come again because you're freaking adorable So now we've got uh, now we've got Melvin. He's a little cockapoo. <laughs> Hi, Melvin. Hello, buddy. Oh, you're so sweet. And his new baby brother, who was like twice, maybe more than twice the size he was the last time he came. He's gotten big. He's a golden retriever, and I've forgotten his name. I don't. Marty. It's Marty. His name's Marty. Marty. The Golden Retriever. I love Golden Retriever feet. They are the cutest things. He is a cutie. Look at that face. Marty! <laughs> Poppy, you are so submissive. She is so good with all the dogs because if um, she, you know, they feel threatened by her at all, she just lays down. <laughs> She's like, I'm submissive, I'm submissive. I wanted to tell you what happened with Bon Bon's owner. Um, I just told her that he had this mark and I didn't think he got it from the clippers. Um, and he could have gotten it from the little harness that I used to hold up his hind end so he'll stand up because he kept like trying to sit down and so it could have rubbed on it and irritated him. And she said, oh no, that I think that's just from, because he had a bladder infection or something and he kept like peeing all over himself. And so she thought that it was from that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So 
There I go. I worried for nothing. <laughs> hey, Marty. So we're going to the Home Depot and we're going to PetSmart because remember how I wanted to get that aglionema for my bathroom and I'm like no and then I did that whole arrangement of plants and then then I ended up moving that arrangement of plants and then I put snake plants there and now I'm like no I should put all my snake plants together in the same pot I remember it. <laughs> and so anyway we're back to where we began and we're going to Home Depot and if they have that aglionema I'm gonna get it for my bathroom so I, I feel I might be a little bored or something I don't know and sometimes when I'm bored then I just I like feel like I need to go buy something or something we just got uh, buzzed on our phone so um, emergency alert National Weather Service snow squall warning until 6.15. Guys, there's no plants here. <laughs> that is so weird. This has never happened before. So this morning, one of my Facebook friends did a post about snow squalls and how bad weathermen are at their job and how she just heard a what about snow squalls like it was a new word. Have you guys heard the word squall like snow squall and what right now before I say the rest like what does that mean to you like what's a squall everyone had a different definition of what squall was <laughs> but uh, apparently a snow squall is a short little storm that happens where there's wind snow and icy roads there's not a ton going on over here, but there's a little bit more than there was at Home Depot. And look, it's a snow squall right outside of the window inside of that building. <laughs> okay. okay, so I need a plant that does good in not high light. Here's an Aglionema Madonna. More, more aglionema down here. All Madonnas and these pink ones don't do good in low light. Okay, we're at PetSmart. We're looking for the Placostomuses. And a plant, maybe. We found the Placostomus sign. So, are those those big ones back there? That's the Pictus catfish. Oh, uh, maybe they don't have any, we'll see. And then I'm gonna get this plant right here. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you that this is, we went into Petco for what, like maybe 15, 20 minutes, right? Yeah. And the roads are not very good. <laughs> So this is what a snow squall, what happens in a snow squall? In Utah. Yeah. Hazard, intense burst of heavy snow and gusty winds leading to blowing snow and rapidly falling visibility. Wind gusts greater than 50 miles per hour could knock down trams and blow around unsecure objects. Source, radar indicated. Impact, dangerous and life-threatening travel conditions are expected to develop rapidly in the warning area. We made it home and I want to show you what we got at Pets Co. Petco. They don't give bags out anymore unless you pay for them. But they do give boxes and they're just boxes that their stuff comes in. And I think that's a great idea. So uh, we took a box and then I got... I had some of this growing. It was growing really well in the aquarium. It's called uh, Anacris Bunch. And I don't even know what happened to it. Like it just disappeared. I don't know if the fish ate it or what. And then I got a Placostomus 
and an air stone because my air stone has been a little weak lately so it's probably going to be going out pretty soon so I got a new one of those and then this plant I'm kind of or this this thing I'm kind of excited about it's a uh, like a piece of wood that a green with green fuzzy stuff on it and apparently it has seeds on it so when you put it in the water it's gonna grow a bunch of plants on it can you see that the, that's fun huh oh and then I forgot to mention I got the Placostomus he's just a little feller right there you see him no <laughs> barely I don't know he's probably not gonna make much of a difference for a little while but he's got a lot of algae to eat so he should fatten up pretty quick I'm gonna just sit the Placostomus in in there on the water so he can uh, acclimate to the temperature before I drop him in Just let him float around in there a little. Okay, I'm gonna put my the anacris plant back there in that corner. Alrighty, we've got all the anacris in there. I put each stem in separately instead of just sticking the whole bunch in because I think it, it branches out pretty quick. And I don't know, I put the Placostomus in and I'm not sure where he went. He's probably lost in the jungle there somewhere. That log, I think that really adds a lot. To it. I might, when I change the stone, when the stone goes out and I put the new one in, I might like push it back a little bit and maybe put a rock, that big rock right there, right here. And I moved that really mossy rock to the back. So it's silly because this looked like it has moss growing on it, so it's fine, but for some reason the rock bothered me. I moved it. I think it looks better like that. Still haven't found the Placostomus. I rearranged it a little bit more. So I'll show it to you tomorrow when everything has settled a little bit. And now, in my bathroom, I have this plant up here in the shower. Well, it's a bazillion plant that I did the other day. I'm going to hook this grow light up there and then I'm going to put the cord through that window so it can plug plug into the plug out there in the sunroom. And then this plant will get enough light and then maybe it might do something. Where there's a will, there's a way. Look, it, I just put it the cord through the very top of that window there and bada bing bada boom this plant is gonna thrive here now